The day before the first round of the draft, general manager Ken Holland predicted the most likely scenario was they would take a forward with pick number 14. That's exactly what the Edmonton Oilers ended up doing in drafting Dylan Holloway, an Alberta boy from just outside of Calgary who said he grew up a Flames fan. His entire family were Flames fans, but they are not anymore, according to Holloway. So Holland says there weren't any significant opportunities to trade back, that they were thrilled to get Holloway where they did so they now set their sights on day two of the draft and the orders are without a second and a fourth round draft pick and have a decision to make on their third round pick that could potentially go to the calgary flames unless ken holland decides to use that pick tomorrow which at this point he is leaning towards in his media availability made a little bit of news in saying that andreas athanasiu and matt benning both restricted free agents would not be qualified meaning both of those players are heading towards free agency Without a sign of the times in this flat cap world, having to let an asset like Athens see you go after spending two second round draft picks to trade for him. But the Oilers have some work to get done on their roster. They need the cap space that will be provided by those two decisions. So what does he hope to achieve over the next couple of days? Well, Heading into free agency, he's made it clear that a goaltender is definitely high on their priority list. Talked about knocking around, seeing if they can find a couple of depth forwards that they could add to their lineup as well. And of course, with news that Oscar Clefbaum is a question mark heading into next season, look for the Oilers to be very active when it comes to trying to add a blue liner. So the first round is done, but plenty of work yet to come for Ken Holland and his staff.